Come nightfall on Tuesday, December 29th, the final full moon of 2020 will grace our skies. If there was ever a time to dip into a little full moon magic, it's now, as we look to the sky and close out an unquestionably tumultuous year. December's full moon is called the cold moon. Here's what it's all about and how to work with it to enhance your New Year's resolutions. Why is it called the cold moon? Each month's full moon has a different name, usually related to nature, the weather, or what's in season at the time. Most of these names originally come from Native American culture, and the Mohawk people of southeastern Canada and northern New York State are said to have named December's full moon the cold moon. As conditions get steadily colder around the northeast during this month, other names for this moon include the Snow Moon, the Winter Maker Moon, and the Long Night Moon. Makes sense, this moon falls closest to the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. How to work with the cold moon? Some believe the bright light of the full moon has a way of illuminating our shadows, causing strange behavior. Some anecdotally report an increase in energy and strange dreams in the days surrounding the full moon, for example. The good news is there are plenty of ways to work with moon energy instead of letting it control us. A full moon is the spiritual and energetic pinnacle of that lunar cycle. Did you set any intentions during the last new moon that are now coming to a head? Or perhaps you want to focus on what you're letting go in 2021 rather than what you're taking on? The days following the full moon are a time of shedding and release. So keeping that and the new year in mind, here are some ideas for working with the cold moon. 1. Journal about what you've learned this year. The full moon is a great time to reflect before we drop into the waning energy of the days following. And being the final full moon of the year, it's a particularly good time to zoom out and reflect on the year as a whole. 2. Make full moon water. Simply leave a container of water in the moonlight overnight to infuse it with the moon's energy, and by morning it will be ready to use in your next ritual. 3. Have a virtual full moon circle. Sometimes one of the best ways to amplify a reflection or intention is to share it with others. Plan a virtual get-together with your fellow moon lovers and offer your takeaways from this year, plus your intentions for next. 4. Get clear on what you want to let go of. Whether through journaling, meditation, or talking it out in a full moon circle, ask yourself. What's not working? What needs to go? What's taking up unnecessary space in my life that I want to release in 2021? 5. Take a moon bath. Tap into the powerful lunar energy by taking a luxurious bath with all the fixings, candles, crystals, music, whatever you like. Make it a time to get quiet with yourself, set intentions, and allow the moon to cleanse you energetically. However you decide to spend the evening on the 29th, remember to give yourself grace. It's been a tough year for many, and the twins note the cold moon is a time for rest and self-care as we reflect and reset for New Year's. To find out what secret store, or you click here to get your free instant extremely accurate numerology reading you will likely be amazed at what you find out and for more numerology tips tricks and tutorials be sure to click the subscription button right here so that you don't miss out on future videos on future videos